mythology became one of the most influential aspects of ancient Greece. One of the three most important figures was Hades, god of the underworld. So our question is, what is the significance of Hades in Greek mythology? Well, let's start from the beginning. The reason why Hades is thought to be an important figure in Greek mythology is because he is believed to answer questions about natural phenomena that could not possibly be explained by humans. Hades is crucial because he controls one of the three lands of the world, which is why he is known as one of the big three. Zeus was the god of the sky, Poseidon was the god of the sea, and Hades was the god of the underworld, where he ruled all of the dead souls. Hades specifically was important because he gave people something to believe in after death. Though most people were said to have feared him, they were comforted by the idea that there was life after death. The story of Persephone provides an explanation to the believers of Greek mythology of why there are the four seasons. He was the provider of the questions all people had about life after death that were otherwise unknown. The father of Hades was a titan named Cronus, and he was married to Rhea. Cronus heard a prophecy that one day one of his children would overthrow him. So every time one of them was born, he swallowed them whole. One of the babies he swallowed whole was Hades. Rhea didn't like this, so when she gave birth to a baby named Zeus, she wrapped a rock in a cloth and gave it to Cronus, pretending that it was a baby. She secretly sent Zeus away, and he came back to force his father to regurgitate all his children. Cronus ended up having three boys, Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus, and three girls, Demeter, Hestia, and Hera. Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus randomly drew lots to see who would be in charge of the different lands. Poseidon got the sea, Zeus got the sky, and Hades ended up with the underworld, also known as Erebus. Hades was important in Greek mythology because he answered the question of life after death for the ancient Greeks. The process of entering the underworld was very intricate, including crossing five rivers and many other obstacles. When someone died, their soul was led by the god Hermes towards the entrance of the underworld, which is where the fairy waited to take them across the Acheron River. They drank from the river of Leth, which was the river of forgetfulness to make them forget their previous life. The fairy man was named Chiron, and he would only take them if they were buried with a coin called an obulus. If they didn't have a coin, they were forced to roam the river of Styx forever. When they arrived at the gates of the underworld, a menacing three-headed dog by the name of Cerberus granted passage to all, but would not let anybody out. The souls were then judged by three judges called Rhythmus, Minos, and Aikis, who convicted them for the crimes they committed. Those who were found heroes were allowed to enter the Elysian fields. The second realm was known as the Plains of Asphodel, and that was for those who weren't good or bad. Those who were evil were condemned to Tartarus, where they were eternally tortured. Hades is also the god of wealth due to the fact that all Earth's metals are housed in the underworld. People often assume that he is evil-natured because he is associated with death, but he is very similar to the other gods and has been known to show mercy. His main goal in life is to acquire as many souls as possible in the underworld. He has a morbid personality which causes him to be misinterpreted to be evil, but he has many good qualities about him. People look to Greek mythology to help them grasp how the world works and why it is the way it is. Another example that Hades has a big influence on Greek mythology is that the story of Hades and Persephone explains one of the biggest wonders of mankind, why the seasons change. According to legend, Persephone was the innocent, beautiful daughter of Zeus and Demeter. Hades fell in love with her and watched her from the underworld. Knowing she would never come willingly, Hades emerged from the underworld in a four-horse chariot and abducted her while she was picking flowers. Her mother Demeter, the goddess of harvest, soon became consumed with grief when she could not find her daughter. Demeter was deranged and destroyed all the crops, threatening to never let anyone grow again and to destroy mankind. Earth became cold and dry, with no sign of hope to recover. Eventually, she talked to Helios, the god of the sun, who told her what happened. Zeus feared that everybody on earth would starve and there would be nobody to worship him, so he demanded that Persephone be returned to her mother. Hades, fearing that she would never come back, tricked her into eating six pomegranate seeds that doomed her to stay in the underworld for six months each year. Demeter agreed to let her go to the underworld for half the year and revive fertility to let the crops grow. Persephone eventually learned to love being queen of the underworld and fell in love with Hades, but for the six months she is with him, her mother grieves and the plants don't grow. This explains the change of the seasons because while Persephone is above ground and with her mother, Demeter is happy and blossoms the earth, 
creating spring and summer. When she returns to Hades, Demeter grows despondent and crops don't grow and the earth is cold, creating a barren earth known as autumn and winter. The story depicts how big of an influence Hades has on Greek mythology because he explained the creation of the seasons to the Greeks, an occurrence that bewildered them for centuries. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe once said, No one would talk much in society if they knew how often they misunderstood others. This quote relates to Hades because he was not evil, he was simply misunderstood. As acquired through research and knowledge, Hades has been seen to connect with different aspects in Greek mythology. He is the answer to the question of life after death in Greek mythology, to gods and mortals alike.